Hey love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And from my returning subs, my extended family, thank you so much for the love and support that you send me and each other each and every day. That is such a blessing. And thank you so much for the 600 plus subs. Thank you so much. I'm so blessed and grateful. You know, people have been sending me congratulations because I'm proud. I'm so happy that, you know, the channel is growing more and I'm bringing so many, you know, that people are gravitating towards my channel and we're just sharing and loving loving sending loving vibes towards each other which is a true blessing so thank you from the bottom of my heart for that for that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely on the way to everyone and thank you so much for coming to my channel and if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already what are you waiting for like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload a next video and if you feel like you're comfortable enough go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me or even about your you know your empathic gift or even just give your positive feedback about the video all is welcome as long as it's positive or if you feel like my video just put you in a good vibe and you got true understanding out of it or resonated a lot with the video go ahead spread the word spread the love you know give me a thumbs up like and even share it's all greatly appreciated thank you so much for stopping by my channel today the video that I'm listening to today on my meditation is motivate yourself and others personal develop, develop ugh, development meditation music positive energy motivation so i'll be posting that link in the description box below if you like to listen to music like that it's just very peaceful and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas be the voice that changes the world be the voice that changes the world you know the other day i was telling um y'all about the situation i was in where i was about to walk away from everything and, um, you know, talking to people that, you know, are, are close to me, you know, they were telling me, Rosalind, you know, don't do this, you know, but I understand the reason why you're doing it because it was just like a really toxic situation. And, you know, and it was just like dealing with my children. We have been around this for years and it's just a scary feeling to actually, um, you know, actually go through, you know, something like that that you know uh it can just be really crazy really really crazy and you're just trying to really understand you know why you know you've gone through things like that and you know it's like a, a scary thing that you different. should never want to hear come out of your children's mouth it's something like that is normal and that broke my heart for my children to say that, you know, well, mom, I'm used to that. Mom, I'm used to, you know, because I said that, you know, it's like growing up and then, you know, seeing how my family exposed me to things like that with the, you know, alcoholism and, you know, the, the verbal and mental and physical abuse that, you know, either it was pushed upon me or I was constantly see my parents, you know, arguing. And it's just like, you know, you're going through a situation like that and you're trying to find yourself out of it. And it's just like, you know, God put everything on a standstill for me and I had to basically deal with it. And it was just like, I had to understand why I had to go through that. And I was just so frustrated. And it was just like, people were close to me. They were, you know, they really knew what was going on. It's just like, well, I was like, I don't, you know, I'm, you know, they're trying to help me find solutions, but you really couldn't find anything. So it was like, why I had to sit here and I had to understand why was I going through this? Because I had to be that voice. Well, what I'm doing, you know, with my videos, I go through a day-to-day -day basis, things that, you know, that has occurred or that has happened or I'm learning on, you know, I put in my videos because I know there's somebody out there dealing with the things that I deal with that, that doesn't have that voice to want to go out and tell somebody, you know, I'm going through this too. You know, I'm experiencing these things too. When you can find that, that will, that inner voice in yourself to find that confidence and say, you know what, I've been through this. You know, I said, I want 
to have that thing where I can heal. And then when I finally come out to the world, they're just like, wow, you know, she's went through this and this and this and that. And she's a survivor from it. She's, you know, she's got the, the diploma to sit up here and say, I graduated from this. And I want to be known as that. I don't want to be that person that played victim and just like, woe is me. I've been through this and these people hurt me. Yes, they did. But I'm not allowing that to still affect me. You know, I grew from this. I'm healing from it. You know, and it was just like at that point, like, you know, I have to be able to move on. You know, I have my children. They look up to me. You know, I have to be an example for them just to know I'm doing not this, just not for me, for my mom. You know, my mom went through this. You know, it beat her down mentally. It messed her up emotionally where, you know, I'm going through you know, the circle of life, the things that she went through, that my child was, you know, turned against me. My dad turned my mother against me, you know, so the actions that I pushed upon myself and the things that I believed in, when I finally seen that there was actually families that are actually out there that was normal, that didn't bicker, fuss, and fight, or, you know, weren't always in each other's faces, you know, and I envied that. And I always wanted that for myself. And I always told myself that I would never let my children be exposed to that. And then little do I know, history repeated itself. So I had to be that voice and say, you know what, I want to be that advocate for, you know, children that, that you know, have been in an abusive household or you've been adopted or been a foster child and you've been placed in a home you know, where they just used you for your money and abused you and had you thinking about yourself in a certain way that is not normal or is not healthy for somebody to ever be placed upon. You know, that's why I always told my children, you're beautiful, you're smart, you can be anything you want, you just place your mind to. Because it was at that point when I seen myself excelling and my father seen me excelling, he tried to break that down to where you know I was scared to even voice my opinion and it took a long time for me to be able to take that power back and be able to say enough is enough you will not have this control over me you know they always told me you know from the things that you've done in your past you should be ashamed of you know what if you became famous one day would you want to be known as these things and they made me scared that people would cast judgment on me because the fact is my past is not clean but then i i had to be that voice and say you know what everybody has a skeleton in their closet that they're not proud of the things that they've done but the things that have placed me in my life that has been placed in my life to where i've made the decisions i've made yeah i'm not proud of all the things that i've done and this, you know but i knew i sacrificed a lot of things for my you know it could have been my dignity you know i didn't sell my body or anything like that but you know, I've shoplifted, i danced, you know, I did what I had to do to survive, to be able to take care of my children, to be able to do what I had to do. So why should I be ashamed of that? Because it made me a stronger person. It made me a better person. So who is the next person to judge me about something when, you know, nobody's past is clean, you know, the rock, you know, the glass house can't throw no rocks when, you know, it can be grown back. So, you know, even though I know I messed that saying up, y'all know what I was talking about, but you have to be that voice. You have to stand strong. You know, think, know that things that that are in your past are not clean. You know, my family tried to break that down for me and me, me be embarrassed of the things that I did and be ashamed. But I'm just like, for what? Why do I need to be ashamed of what I've done? You know, that's my past is not me. You know, that's not how I, you know, I'm set up now. My level is way past that because, I mean, I've excelled. I've gain that confidence I gave that gave that self-respect because I don't put myself in positions like that to get in situations like that I'm just still growing and learning and healing from these things and you know you will too so be that voice I had to be that voice to you know to be that advocate for children that are growing up in households dis disruptive households like that and just to know that, you know, even though you might not see that light in the tunnel, you eventually will, you know. 
and we go through things. We have to go through things to get to things. You know, you, you learn from your past mistakes. We learn from our setbacks. We learn from our mishaps, you know, our misfortunes. You know, some people laugh at that. And, you know, and it's sad that, you know, people would rather see you dead than happy. You know, and there's people who are like that in the world. You know, there's people out there like that for me. You know, and I've seen it. And, you know, and it's just like, you know, that's their character. That's not mine. You know, I, I'm just going to be that person that just just to let people know, you know, don't worry about how people cast judgment on you, how you look at, you know, how they look at you. Because the real people, the people that really notice you for you being you will be that person like that. You know, that person was strong enough to say, you know, these things happened to me in the past. But look at, at the person that has allowed me to become for now. You know, you, you can, anything you put your mind to, we'll amaze ourselves if we, you know, just step out of fear. You know, just leave, take that blind leap of faith and, and just be there because you never know what your story can hold on to somebody else's life. You never know what it might impact and might do to somebody else that actually had that strength. You, you know, they've been through this. They've done that. And they might not have the answers and all the solutions to everything, but look how strong they became. Look at the confidence they gained from all the the, the beatdowns and the tra you know the traumatic experiences they had to endure. My strength, I mean, my strength just came from my pain. My, you know, I had to experience the bad to be able to appreciate the good. I had to learn how to have a heartbreak to appreciate love. And, you know, I, I found love for myself, regardless of who I feel like who loves me out there. I know I love myself. And then when I know when you love yourself, the, the right people will come towards you, too, and love you, too. So I hope you will be able to get something out of this. I hope y'all didn't feel like I was rambling, but it was something Spirit told me to, you know, go ahead and talk about today. Because you never know, somebody might need to hear this today. But be that voice to help impact the world be that voice you have it you have the confidence you have that strength you feel like you don't have it you'll find it in yourself you have to you have to go through things to be able to face the truth that you need to see for yourself like and subscribe hit the notification bell i would love the chance to hear from you give me a ring i love the chance to hear from you write me a couple of lines and get to know me as much as i'm getting to know you remember there's always somebody praying for a better you for you to be prosperous you to stay blessed and remember you are loved and spread out as much love and positivity as you possibly can and i'll see you on my next video peace and be wild